Rise and shine, wild ones. It's Bernadette here with your Pick a Card Daily Tarot Reading for Friday, October 2nd, 2020. That's a lot of twos. Remember, there's some angel energy in there. Oh, Fridays, I love you so much. It is uh, It is governed by the throat chakra. It is, uh, the ruling planet is Venus. It's all about speaking the love, speaking the love languages, whatever that means to you. So when the card appeared, I had to go put on my Journey t-shirt. I had to rock my 80s hat. And then the song started playing in my head. You know the one, Open Arms. Hoping you will see what your love means to me. Open Arms. Now, it is glaringly apparent to y'all that I'm no singer at this point, but I love to sing and I don't care because Friday is Throat Chakra Day. And if you can't sing, you still can sing because you do sing and that makes you a singer. And I still want you all to know what your love means to me. And I am coming to you with open arms. Thank you very much for all of your support through the last couple of years. And um, I hope that you are benefiting from these daily readings and getting more deeply connected with all your spirit totem and power animals. Now I'm gonna stop blab, blab, blabbing and I'm gonna put on my glasses. We're gonna get serious up in here. And we are gonna talk about the card that showed up today. I got goosebumps and everything. Y'all, it's the Nautilus card, the Ace of Cups. What? Okay. So why I love this card to show up on a Friday is because, you know, when we talk about love, when we talk about the planetary influence being Venus, that's going to bring us right into the water. And that's going to align us with the zodiac signs of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And let me just say, Bernadette um, considers Aquarius to be like a second cousin of the water signs because the waters of life flow out of her jug, right? Okay. So even if you're an Aquarian, um, or you're in love with an Aquarian, or whatever your thing is with Aquarius, remember this can apply to you too. But if you take a look at the traditional um, Rider Waite card, which is what my Arc Animal Spirit Tarot and y'all, it's Friday, I'm a little tired. Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle Spirit deck. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you'll see that it's based on the Rider Waite cards. And when you take a look at the traditional Rider Waite version, of the uh, Ace of Cups. It's this hand of God coming out of the sky with this gorgeous gold chalice and these beautiful four fountains of water streaming from it. Um, excuse me, there are five. That's the five Earth, Air, Fire, Water, Spirit. And, uh, you know, I envision it always like a, a fountain of champagne, if you will. But then there's the Dove of Peace coming in with the coin and all this gorgeous water around it. And it is, this is the card of pure joy, of true fulfillment, of divine inspiration. So whatever love things are on your mind today, go towards it with open arms, right? It's okay. We all have, we all have gone towards love of some kind. We've, we've loved a business, a pet, a, a person, a, a career, something about ourselves. And it has, it's time has come to an end. And, and maybe it came to an end a little tragically, um, a little in a little less happy of an energy than, you know, or peaceful energy than you would have liked. But you can't ever take away the really beautiful moments of true joy and true fulfillment and, and just know that that was divinely inspired in those moments, right? Okay, so when, when we take a little bit of a closer look um, at the Ace of Wands, then <clears throat> it's kind of like, you know, well, let's talk about the numerology of this card first. For those of you that are into numerology, there are 26 drops of water that hover above the waters below. And uh, the numerical value of that in Hebrew, um, the word that I can never pronounce, it's yud hev vav He, which is God, is also a formula that symbolizes the process of creation. And there are also 26 letters in the English alphabet. And that is... Um, kind of the abstract of where complete words and ideas come from. So it's no, it's, it's no small wonder that Nautilus would show up today as, um, the, as the Ace of Cups, because remember, Fridays are the throat chakra. So there's really definitely a call for you to express your love today in whatever way that means for you. Now, some people, you know, couldn't say I love you. I, I don't know why I get stuck in their throat chakra but they may, you know, they may go out and change your oil for you because they know you need an oil change. Or they may just bring you home, you know, a little something, something because they were thinking about you. And in your mind, that may not be a grand enough gesture, but it's better than having no gesture because there are a lot of people that don't get any of that from their partners. And, you know, maybe today might not be 
um, the best day at work or the best day in your business or the best day with one of your pets or even just grocery shopping or whatever, but it's still a day that I bet if you sit and think about it, you'll find the nuggets of love that did come to you. For me, it's when I go into Publix and they've got my Calypso cookies, they've got coconut and walnuts and all kinds of things in them because I need to be eating cookies, but they don't always have them. When I see them, I'm like, somebody up there loves me. They do. <laughs> I snatch those things and I, I haul ass to the register. So it, it, you know, love comes in a lot of, lot of different forms. You may see a meme today that just fills you up from the inside. And if you do, Use your throat chakra, click share, share it with other people. That's a form of communication. That's a form of communicating love. If it's something that makes you laugh, share it, right? Anything, but just express your love today in any way that you can and be very open to giving thanks and gratitude to those that bring you the love, all right? So when we, uh, I just want to point out one more thing. <clears throat> the lotus flower in the waters on the Ace of Cups is is uh, fully open, right? And so what that means is that you are giving and receiving and take a look at the red color, right? Red is, yes, it's the color of the root chakra, but it's also the color of our heart. It's very associated with love. Take a look at where you can integrate maybe the color red today or um, even the lotus flower, making sure that it's open and receptive and that it's blooming or it has bloomed up, right? And use, I mean, I won't go into the whole lotus flower thing because that's a whole separate video about its symbolism and its meaning. But it, 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 something about the lotus flower or maybe even the Asian culture is going to show up in your awareness today. That's a ping from the universe that it is knocking on your door. Something about love, something about love. Okay, so when we um, take a look at what the... Um, Nautilus has to do with the Ace of Cups because I've often said, you know, people are always confused how a crustacean or, you know, even like plank plankton, protozoa, that kind of thing. They're like, how could that possibly be a spirit animal? Um, well, because it's a living, breathing thing and it has a lot to teach us. And so of all the shells that are collected, Interestingly enough, and I don't have any data for this, I just have a really good friend that has been selling, um, her big thing is shells. My God, this woman knows more about shells than I think maybe any human being on the face of the earth. And she says that in her business for 30 something years now, the most requested shell is a Nautilus shell, especially if it's been shaved in half and you see that inside. Because now we're going to talk about the Fibonacci sequence. We're going to talk about the number of completion, the number 12, the perfect number. All of the cell, shell, um, chambers inside of a Nautilus shell are just perfect in every way, perfectly spaced, perfectly timed. And so that, that definitely gives the Ace of Cups the number of completion, the number of perfection, as perfect as anything gets in this lifetime, right? And also the, num the Nautilus actually means sailor. The ancient wisdom, we're talking like 450 million years the Nautilus has been around and in the depths of the ocean. Can you imagine the secrets? I, I, I mean, this creature has even just the shell which absorbs the vibration. You know, once the animal inside is long gone, because like us, they only have a certain lifespan. But once that shell has absorbed that energy, that wisdom, and then maybe another critter comes along and inhabits it and, and it gets that and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. Holy cow, the secrets to the universe can be had in a Nautilus shell. It's pretty fascinating. And it also creates that mother of pearl chamber that we all covet so much and we all really want in our jewelry. And, you know, we just want to, we, we just that iridescent, lots of different colors. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's pretty amazing. So I want to go back to, <clears throat> excuse me, the Fibonacci sequence, the, the Nautilus shell is in the shape, and, and for those of you that are in the sacred geometry, I know about it in cursory fashion, or fashion, it's not something I've taken a deep dive into, but, you know, I, I think most everybody that's walking a spiritual path and gets into metaphysics, they eventually bump up, up against the Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio, and that is, uh, Plato calls it the key to the universe. He, he calls uh, sacred geometry the key to the universe. And maybe it's my enduring hate of math um, and my inability to understand it that I just haven't unlocked that yet and haven't unlocked all the secrets of the universe. But 
I do appreciate <clears throat> the golden ratio because it's simple for me to understand. And one of those things is that it's simple about is it does represent our divine potential to create the most amazingly simple or complex patterns in our life, the design to which embodies our unending potential. Our potential is limitless. And that's another reason why having, you know, in the Pick a Card Daily Tarot reading for today, having the Ace of Cups show up on this day, what it tells us is there is a never ending fountain of love, of perfect divine love available to us. And that's because when we fail ourselves, when others fail us, when we fail others, okay, it sucks. You apologize. You do your best to make up for it. You, you're contrite and, and you make it right. But what is never not available to us, what is available to us 24-7, 365 forever, is the divine love of the universe. So I find, I don't know about you, but I find I'm really hard on myself. My God, I'm still beating myself up about stupid stuff I said and did when I was nine or eight or whatever. I can still remember it, right? It's, it's, don't try to rid yourself of that pattern. I'm working on it. <clears throat> but I have gotten in the, in the last years where when I get to feeling that way, I try to rewire my brain by just sitting very quietly and opening my crown chakra and allowing what interestingly enough looks like mother of pearl energy. It's all this iridescent glow that comes from the universe. And I just allow it to flood me and, and help me to remember that I am a divine being. And at my core, my soul is perfect. And I've made the choice. I've made the sacred contract to come into this life and say and do and be involved in stupid, stupid SH, you know what? And I'm, those choices are much, 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 much less these days. Right. Um, but, but once you've said something, once you've done something, it's out there. And so you, you, you can beat yourself up about it because you forget that you are a divinely loved and divinely loving creature. So today on this Friday, my gosh, Ace of Cups, Nautilus, Venus, and the throat chakra. Oh my God, I don't know what else you could want to create and receive divine love. Now, <clears throat> the other thing, <clears throat> excuse me, about Nautilus is that generally speaking, it is the color white on the outside. That is always, uh, to me, the color white always says there are angels near. Now, I believe angels come in every shape, form, color, creed. I mean, animal angels, you know, there are angels in every culture, but through tradition, which, listen, traditions are made to be broken. There's just something about a Nautilus that has always reminded me of angels. Don't know. I don't, I can't figure it out. I've often wondered, but it does. And so, again, when you take a look at the numbers of today, the 2nd of 2020, you, you, you've got that repeating two in there. And while that's not pure numerology because we didn't add everything up and bring it down to its basic unit, we didn't add number one or the number 10, although if you, without going into a whole episode about numerology, if you take the number of October, which is the number 10, it very well could mean that the numbers inside, the 2020 or the 222, of the second twenty of the second day of twenty twenty could be multiplied by that ten ratio, which makes it even more, 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 more powerful. Only you can decide that for today. Now, something that <clears throat> Nautilus does ask you to take a look at is because it is the golden ratio. It's the it's the perfect number of completion. It's the perfect number. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What what is surrounding your heart that is no longer perfect? What could be a little bit toxic, what is no longer fitting within our heart chakra. And I would, I, I would really encourage you to honor that. It's so weird, y'all. The last month, my Lord, if I've had one reading about marriages falling apart, I've had 500. And in every circumstance, and it, ha it just happened to be women, in every circumstance, the woman has known for years, but somehow they've become the caretaker of their husbands. And it's like they're not even married anymore. It's just this caretaker, um, like as if they were their nurse of some kind or their counselor of some kind, or I don't even know. But 
it, it's been going on for too long. And all of a sudden, something shook them up. And, and of course, you and I know that it's the energies of these turbulent times, all the changes that are happening all over the world, um, all of the old outmoded ways are breaking apart, new ways of being and doing and thinking are coming in. And yeah, it's like the tower card. Of course, things have to crumble before you can rise out of the ashes, but it is happening. And when you take a look at that Nautilus shell and then you take a look at your heart and you think, well, what's in what am I encasing in there? What am I encasing in my own Nautilus shell in my chest? If it's not broke, truly broke, don't fix it. But if it is just not, it's just not, this is a great card to help you recognize what is just not and understand that everything is perfect and every moment is perfect, no matter how much it hurts at that moment, it is perfect. And, and make the changes that you mean to make and that you want to make. Because again, remember, this is a card about pure joy and true fulfillment and understanding and accepting your limitless potential, not only to have love, but to give love, right? Okay. So if uh, Nautilus has shown up today, for your spirit animal, and if you don't know the difference in spirit, totem, and power animals, I know those of you that watch these videos every day get sick of hearing this, sorry. Um, down below in the notes is the video that will explain the difference, but um, if Nautilus has shown up today as your spirit animal, I would really encourage you to understand that the emotions are flooding you at this time. The Nautilus is showing up to you. The Ace of Cups is showing up to you. They're pinging you with a radar underwater. Boop, boop. Do, 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 do. Hey, wake up. Hello, wake up. It is time to awaken to your perfect potential, your greatest potential, to have your true joy, to have your true fulfillment. It's time. Let's go. Wake up. I'm with you. I believe in you. All the spirit animals believe in you. We are all behind you. You got this. Okay. If you are uh, resonating with Nautilus as your totem animal, I bow to you. You're probably sitting at the top of a mountain somewhere wearing some gauzy, white, gossamer, flowy thing. And you're probably chanting mantras or mudras or mudras or whatever they call them. And you're probably the most peaceful, unattached, enlightened one of us all. Excellent. I'll be to your mountain shortly. I got a lot of questions. But good for you. I'm glad you have evolved and that you always are seeking to keep evolving. You really inspire the rest of us who get stuck in this 3D reality and get really angry because Publix insists on being out of mango, um, my mango, um, what the heck is it called? It doesn't matter. It's like ice cream, but it's not really ice cream. It, I can't even think of it. I'm so mad because they've been out of it for weeks. But anyway, see, look at that. That's not enlightened. I should pick something else and be grateful that they have it. If, <laughs> oh, I just had to share that story. Okay, so if um, Nautilus has shown up as your power animal, that's, a, that's more powerful than you might think. You know, the, the Nautilus can be big things, but let's face it, you know, they're shells with creatures inside of them at the bottom of an ocean. People don't necessarily think of Nautilus as the first power animal they would turn to, you know, to accomplish something. But what did we talk about? That the Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio, Plato, he calls sacred geometry the key to the universe, the key of the universe. If you have not been working on your spiritual awakening, if you have not been working on your spirit's progression and growth, how about your soul's purpose? Mm. Oh, look at what time it is. It's soul purpose 30. Okay, it's time to get going on your soul's purpose. I don't care if you've been a dentist for 30 years. If it's not your soul's purpose, get gone. I don't care if you've been a baker for 15 minutes. If it's not your soul's purpose, get gone. You are not going to be happy. You're not. You could be moderately happy. You go along, get along. You can get in where you fit in. You want to live a life like that? Or do you want to live a life of pure joy, of true fulfillment, of constantly being connected to the divine? Of course you do, which is why you're here. This is why you look at other people's YouTube channels. It's why you read other people's books and stuff like that. Of course you do. You're looking for every way to get back to the mothership, right? You're looking for every way you can reconnect with the divine, reconnect with the divine. Here's the secret. You are never disconnected. 
you were never disconnected. You've just got to remember and tap into it and open up that part of your heart. Open up that communication, y'all. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. I know this video has been longer than normal, but this is a biggie, y'all. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. It will bring you closer to your animal spirit guides. And as always, the most important thing is to stay wild.